Welcome back, trainers. So there has been an update to the Lucky Pokemon, and we'll talk about that here in a second. We're going to be looking at an Alolan raid. Uh, I want to do the challenges, but first I just want to hit them as much as I can. I'll find some. There's just been so much news going on lately with uh, everything revolving around Pokemon Go. It's just been keeping me busy, which is nice, but I need to get out there and do these raids with, you know, challenging tasks. Like, I was thinking maybe Alolan Raichu with one Groudon, dodge every move. Is that even possible? I'll have to find out. Um, and also about the lucky Pokemon. So it's actually going to be 50% less and not uh, free to power them up. So there is that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this Curlia raid here. I recommend you try to go for these because, well, the candies are not that common, right? And as I was editing, I found this Shadow Sneak Guy. I thought I'd show you that because it looks pretty cool. Uh, all right, so on to this. I do use just one Metagross. It's not difficult. And even though they had the Shadow Sneak super effective to Metagross, it was fairly simple. I didn't really need to dodge. I think I did a couple of times because I felt like I was going to lose. So I started to dodge. This was my first one, and this was the first day it was released as well. So let's go ahead and watch this, and then the Raichu one. Uh, the Raichu one, well, I was just using Pokemon that were super effective and not really dodging, just attacking. So you'll be able to see who performed the best, I suppose. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this Curlia raid with a Metagross, and I'll be right back to do a little bit of commentary over the Alolan Raichu raid. Okay, so this should be fun. This is actually my first time watching this back. I don't really remember what it was like because uh, I was talking to somebody. It wasn't like I was mindlessly tapping. I was paying attention. But what I wanted to technically do was just put each one of these Pokemon in there and see how well they can last without dodging just to see how much damage they did. Um, so let's go ahead and see. And just to warn you right now, Thunder Punch is really delayed on the damage. Like, it'll hit you, and you can dodge at the right time and everything. Um, but if you do get hit by it, the damage is very delayed. And it's been like that for a while. It's not just the Alolan Raichu or anything. Thunder Punches has always been weird. I knew that because of um, Hitmonchan, I'm pretty sure. So Groudon is performing quite well here. Uh, looks really good. I mean, if I was dodging, I could probably take it down 75% in the sunny weather. Uh, I would almost say maybe one but i don't want to sound like a fool i haven't done any simulators you know how i do i'd rather go out there and test it first as a matter of fact i don't even use the simulators i've done it like once or twice not that it's bad to do that but i'm more of a field field kind of guy get in there get my hands dirty and actually do it so gengar is obviously going to go down to psychic it's still a good choice but i wouldn't you might as well just go with tyranitar because it's not very effective and you're going to see when he gets hit he can just tank right through it if I was to dodge every single move with Tyranitar, uh, every charge move that is, I think he can... See, I need to go out there and try. I need to go find some more Alolan Raichus and, and see what I can do here because 
by the looks of it this looks so fun i i'm just so excited and i'm talking to other trainers and on top of that there's been quite a bit of news to cover so it's been keeping me busy and with all this new stuff happening i need to grab these raids as quick as i can put them up for you guys so you can check them out you know with somewhat of a challenge but in due time i'll get to all those you know hardcore do pokemon and dodging all that stuff in time they'll probably stick around for a while so i'll be able to go out there and give it a shot because like i said by the looks of this this looks so fun um to try to do some sort of challenge with i've just been so anxious to get these videos up to you guys because it's just um it's hard out here on this grind youtube you know you gotta be one of the first people to get this information out right Anyway, uh, in goes the Houndoom after Tyranitar did <laughs> basically almost finished it off. I really like using Houndoom, and there's so many options. Even a Caesar up against this, I would love to see how well it can perform against the Psychic one. Not very effective to Steelix or <laughs> a Caesar, uh, so that'd be pretty fun. So there goes the Alolan Raichu with plenty of time left. So it was 30 seconds, and the Groudon was weather boosted. So without any weather boost... You don't really have too much leeway to dodge if you're trying to do some super fancy, uh, you know, lowland raid one Pokemon, two Pokemon deal. I, I should not say one Pokemon because I don't know if you can or not. No. Don't you just love how he just surfs around? Okay, so I'm going to put a link to the GoHub in the description so you can check out other articles. And uh, just so we can make it official here, this is the update of what they found. Official images suggest 50% discount. For lucky Pokemon so it's gonna be reduced not gonna be free um, jump into conclusions over here <laughs> uh, but it's okay we're just reporting the news as it was and as it comes in I will bring you the most current events so with that said trainers thank you for watching and I'll be catching you all next time